this is a 10 minute zero when coming so it's not really a long game but there's not many players wanting to play the long game so we're gonna just have to work with what we can so conscious I'm making these minuscule calculation errors just taking simple direct moves castle for king safety and why not let's just smaller piece attacking a higher piece and develop the knight let's attack the bishop bishop's gone back so I believe we should have won some type of tempo but it's hard to really see at this moment going to move the queen off of the line and go for basic looking for the rook potentially owning the center let's bring the rook through so they've got the same idea of having strength in the center could push what is guarding that pawn pawn takes knight takes but behind the pawn is the queen so he's looking to actually tra trap my queen with the bishop so that's a bit of a stealth move so we could attack his bishop, see what he wants to do, but then he's probably just going to go back, still maintaining pressure on the pawn here. <laughs> so I'm going to move the queen off of that threat. I don't see. It's moving away from my king again, having a flap about moving my pieces away from my king. It is a cause for concern, but we'll see how it pans out. At least we're taking it away from here, so potentially their rook is coming now to attack doesn't is supporting the pawn so he wants his queen now to be able to play in the party so if we pushed here he's got the pawn he's got the knight we've got three pieces there so I think we can push he can always push down onto our knight which he has done so we can attack his bishop or we can attack his knight and the pawn then attacks his uh, knight again and I think this one here is his bishop just goes all the way back so I'm actually going to attack the knight see what he wants to do take and the pawn is oh it's attacking our queen that, that was bait that was always going to happen anyway so that was nice bait that we've used quite nicely so I can come here and attack his knight he's got no protection on do have a safe here from being able to come back here and I've got a two on one on the pawn but his knight is also protecting as well Let's attack the knight, see what he wants to do. He's defending, so he's moved dead quick, so almost like he's got it sewn up. So the idea potentially, why was I going to just move this straight off if it was a fast game? Did something feel right there? Yeah, it's attacking this pawn here, but that just drops down. Yeah, so there's no point doing a move that's just gonna be easily defended. So we can attack the knight small piece attacking a higher piece cannot be wrong so he has to go back here if he wants to save himself or he attacks my queen but then the knight can actually take so he goes back and we've got this pawn here but is it a good capture no we go there his rook just simply goes here and where does the queen go queen can't take there it can't go straight back so they're playing with some cleverness could bring the knight here now we're attacking the bishop and the rook going to do that like I say his bishop can come here and I think that's probably what they're going to do so we're going to have to push the pawn up to defend that's when the challenge is going to kick in so as black we're giving them at least something to think about what I'm concerned about is do they have a magic area to come and start attacking our king area because all our pieces now have gravitated to the other side of the board yeah we said the bishop so I'm going to push here we don't need to overthink that so we can take to keep it simple because keeping the knight there is uh, yeah I'm going to take his rook so on his knight now 
highly, de highly developed pawn, but his knight now is actually on the pawn. Queen's defending. White square bishop is not able to attack that knight. Knight can come here attacking the knight and the bishop knight takes, pawn takes. Going to try and do that. Just trying to keep the momentum going of attacking, attacking. I think the moment it stops, that's when he's just going to steamroll us. Let's just take. This pawn has no protection. Could bring the queen here to protect. But then he just drops this pawn again. So maybe not. Do have the bishop that can go here. But then his knight takes. But then the queen takes. Yeah. What else is the white square bishop? You know, I'm actually going to just defend with that. If he takes, then we take back here. And then I think that's it. Yeah, look at him going quick now. Okay, so it's all dried up. Uh, da, 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 da. Any monster moves? No, just block here for now. So he's got nice little... We've got highly advanced pawns up here. But now he's now attacking our king area. Um, white square bishop, queen, queen. There's not much. Could oh, he's got a two on one. What am I doing? Got a two on one on the pawn. This pawn doesn't have any protection on, but we can't get the bishop there. Okay, what's the scores on the doors? Oh, it's even, even. <coughs> so he's going to be a pawn up. Damn, damn. Even if we move the pawn. If we move the pawn, bishop takes. He's not going to want to take with that. Bishop takes. Attack his queen. No, I can't do that. <laughs> Attack this pawn. takes, rook takes, oh I'm going to have to do that, he's probably still just going to take here anyway, with the queen, takes with the rook, take there, almost a fork, and he's moved there dead quick, We've got a diagonal here, his rook's blocking at the moment, it's on the bishop, could bring the bishop back, he's got like a two on one on the pawn, He's going to get a free on one with his rook. So if we come back to come back here. Yeah. Does that sound like a plan? Yeah, okay, let's try that. It's got a little bit of cleverness going on. Rook to there. Bishop here. He's always thinking of how can he get to my king? One here. No, maybe not. That's too, probably too long. Oh my gosh, he has as well. <laughs> he's, he's looking for that spot. But his queen can't get to there at the minute, can it? See if we move this rook. Ah, uh, he's done it a different way. Bishop takes the pawn. If we go up there, bishop still takes the pawn. Takes. Yeah, okay. Rook check, rook check. Hmm. So it's not actually a checkmate, you know. So I can take his rook with my queen. Then he comes down with a check. Then I move. Then his queen can come here, but then, the, yeah, so I'm taking the rook. I don't think there's a checkmate, unless, of course, I'm missing. He's moved dead quick. But I believe he thought this rook was still going to be in the game. 
because I can still just move here I could move there his rook comes across I move across if I go here his queen goes up puts a check on can keep dancing backwards and forwards yeah he can keep dancing backwards if he's going for a draw because he probably uh, he's going for a bishop attack what's that all about okay move here I'm still not seeing it because this square is covered by our bishop So if we go here, then his rook comes down with a check. We can still go here, can't we? Yeah. I'm still not seeing it. Okay, so can we not just go here? If I've missed something after all this, I, did, I genuinely didn't see that there was a problem. I think the problem was he thought that this rook wasn't attacked and he was going to bring the rook into the game, you know, to block my king from being able to dance. That's what I'm thinking anyway. I might be totally wrong. I'm on 2 minutes 19, I've not to forget myself. I'm actually plus 2 after all that as well. Um, Could attack the queen. He's got some funky dance thing going on, anti. Let's go here. It's gone around the other side. Okay, this is the sort of game I need, isn't it? Crikey. Wow. She's going cross, bishop takes, and yeah, we've got one minute left. What do I do? Bring the rook up, bring it down. It's got a pawn, bishop's moved. Is he wanting me to take this for some strange? I'm taking it, but I don't see it. Queen's taken the pawn. Trying to get a bit of action here. Oh, it looks like this player's left the game as well. Oh my giddy hand. Now that was a logical creative answer to Jess click the victory on that one thank you very much I'm going to look at the analysis on that again it felt like I was being squished again these are the types of games I'm needing to play I'm I needed to play these games because um, player I'm playing against he, he likes to squinch he likes to squinch he likes the tactics you know uh, I'm not a tactics man I'm a positional man don't want to learn how to do tactics just want to learn how to defend against them so let's see what happened here so we came through that's okay yeah so it's went back to normal capturing Ooh, that's a bit too advanced for me what's that about knight taking here oh it's that situation i keep i want i've been practicing that but the layout of this one is different I've been practicing that when the take and then the pawn push is there. Ah, oh, God, I've been practicing it as well. Never mind, missed it. So that's when we threw out the smaller piece attacking a higher piece. It's not really a fan of that. Started attacking. Doesn't like the queen move. Never really likes my moves. <laughs> queen coming up. Attacking. Oh, it's it's liking what's happening so far. Knight coming through. Queen up. Oh, a bit more activated. I bet you I didn't do the right move. Well, we attacked. It's not it's not disliking that. 
yeah well we're looking a bit more active aren't we at this stage but still it could all go wow look at that we could have won in a few moves we made the wrong move it's right there <laughs> the bishop's right there with a fork on the queen oh we could have won the queen damn that's the sort of stuff I need to be seeing oh my crikey days oh look at it it's right there oh never mind never okay so we pushed on okay so it's still still showing us in favor but not when we're doing moves like that look at that little simple pawn move although that's not too clear to me pushing the pawn pushes down got a two on one i suppose knight takes yeah okay so i didn't take advantage of the beautiful position that i'd gained there was something there i felt it but i the move order and spotting key pieces to be taken totally missed okay so now they've got the advantage again so it's getting a bit sticky now yeah, oh yeah look at that oh look at the gauge pad it's not not liking it at all Okay, but we felt comfortable as we were playing we felt comfortable we, we didn't hate it um, we, we just played on and took a tried to take advantage of the positions as best as we knew and because the opponent doesn't know they've got an advantage I didn't know I had an advantage I just know I was pressing and obviously the move order was done wrong so it's good to do evaluation helps to make you go oh my days you need to do some serious work <laughs> So we pushed onto the pawn. What's it saying? Oh, yeah, nice little push onto the pawn. We got something right, but there's no major advantage. This rook move was not right. Rooks don't have any place in the center of the board anyway, as far as I'm concerned. So we captured with a mini fork if they forget themselves, but obviously, no, they didn't. So they're still in advantage right from this point on. And we kind of knew this, really. And so we're now jostling for position. And with the queen move going here at this point then, um, basically I was saying, I don't see it. And the computer doesn't see it either, so we're showing um, a big advantage there. So from that moment on, I was fairly confident that there wasn't anything there, but I'm always open to get shocked, because there was no checkmate thing. I think, I believe they made that move because they believed that the rook was going to be able to come across here at some stage you know when the queen comes down here and then blocks off and then the king would have nowhere to go so that's what i believe they potentially thought was happening so they forgot that their rook was um, under threat and focused solely on this big attack here so that's why i was basically saying there's nothing in it but i just want to see if there's any major dips in the movement that showed that there was something in it i don't think there was okay just coming across and there's a big dip there let's see that it's not big as in losing big but mm. so then it's going with a check down here i don't think that would have been major would it have caused no it wouldn't have caused a draw doing that so that's not too bad okay so we went up go in press in yeah okay so that wasn't too bad it's <laughs> you can learn so much from your evaluations and yeah definitely key just looking at the proper positions don't get so focused on little areas and have a look at the bigger picture how could have won his queen game would have been done really then well more advantageous for us